Happy morning, internet. I'm a little bit sleepyhead still. Uh, we figured this opious clip, people, they, uh, it's insane, dude. We've got reels on reels on reels. And if you never learn how to do it with order, you will never... So, yeah, we got Duval clips now. Mm -mm. Now we have to curate our page and curate or, like, themize our page on. we need to make it all of the cool info stuff that we like from the books we read and we're just gonna put them in b form i don't know we're gonna do that oh this is an absolute game changer though check this out internet we finally got Ooh. it's going so weird they just leave stuff everywhere i don't understand how this works so i don't know if you know this but we have been extremely limited lately we've been walking everywhere and the days of walking are finally, finally behind us. We don't have to do that walking no more. We're back. Let's freaking go, baby. Yes. We have wheels again. Internet, it's like nine in the mornings. We almost forgot our keys. Actually, we did forget our keys. We did come back and get our keys. I'm not going to lie to you. I just had to walk back. But we finished our first workout. We went to the cafe and their Wi-Fi is not turned on right now. So we're gonna cruise over to the Starbucks across the way instead. And then we're gonna upload a vlog and then we got meeting with Leon's in a couple hours. Turns out I'm a big time liar. It's not the park. That was the Wi-Fi problem. It's my computer that's the Wi-Fi problem. It's not picking up any Wi-Fi networks right now. Come on computer. We're gonna go with the old uh, Turn it back on and off then. Uh, restart. Restart. Let's see if this... Oh my gosh, we gotta save all this shit. I can save. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Oh, we don't want to show it. All right, whatever. It worked. The old turn it off and on again trick. Good old technology. All right, uh, now we can finish our edit. We're gonna put some... Uh, version control notes together for our guy, Leon. Pretty much we gotta make sure that his software build can be tracked, edited. We gotta make sure all that's looking nice. The internet be like, oh, I just wanna go party. No, nothing. This is your moment. All right. What's well, good internet? So we're trying something new. We haven't done this in a minute. But uh, we spent the morning part of the day helping Leon out with his development of his site. We contacted a cool developer. He's a Pakistani dude from Fiverr. And he's gonna get on the project, build it out, give it to us in a repository, and then we'll have it and we'll be able to do more stuff with it moving forward anyway we have not swam in forever so we're gonna try that we found our goggles and everything so uh hope for the best yo okay so swimming as an experience dude it makes your body feel so amazing but it's the breathing part is really annoying and difficult but we made it like 10 minutes actually we probably wasn't even 10 minutes it's probably like five minutes anyway that's enough of that we're gonna do this next we're playing tennis tonight at eight uh i don't know definitely feel better though after pool like i was feeling like groggy and gross a second ago all right internet we have a problem our problem is we want to make some delicious ramen but we don't have any eggs how do you make delicious ramen with no eggs or mushrooms that's an issue we need to go solve that problem yeah, bro, trips to the grocery store go way faster now. This is like an upgrade times five. And that's honestly kind of what you look for in the world is you look for uh, technological innovations. That's what humans are really good at. We're great tool builders. So like me and my stupid two feet, that's kind of slow, right? But human ingenuity, we build skateboards that make humans really fast. Even if we're stupid monkeys that cut ourselves and now I'm bleeding. I don't even know how that happened. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, ingredients are acquired. Whoo, almost dropped it, but we didn't drop it. Now it's time to go back. And we can finally have ramen. We made it back. We were almost making our ramen. Leon wants to go lift right now though, so uh, sorry ramen, you're gonna have to wait. We will eat you later. In the meantime, we're gonna get a little bit of nutrients from from uh, vegetable juice versus energies. I guess it's some fruit juice too. And we're also gonna eat more of this burrito real quick. Great thing about being plant-based athletes, you can just keep eating. All right, so Leon said arm workout today. Look at all these people though. I have never lifted weights around so many humans before. It's like five o'clock though. I guess that's the time people come to the gym. But we're gonna get this workout in. We've got tennis in three hours and then ramen. Ramen is definitely on the schedule. All right, um, we just finished our lift. We're being accused no, of not no, being no, strong yet. There's a few people that have this guy's doing some business things. I, since I've already established some communication with y'all. Shout out LA Fitness. They've got but, uh, a nice gym. Yeah, that was either Jordan Next or on the docket. Um, Joel. Yeah. Ooh, we might have ramen before tennis. That would be epic. You hit open and you push out at the same time. Open, push. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> This is the sickest Tesla ever. Thanks, bro. Look how cool this thing is. He said it only cost $700 to turn it from normal, boring Tesla into epic Tesla. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, yeah. I'm not certain of why, why it does that. I do know. He's been talking to the same person for like 20 minutes. Person just talking, talking, talking. Talking, talking. Anyway, we're gonna go make ramen now. Hey, we did it. We got our ramen. We have about 30 minutes until we're going back to tennis. Tell me what you guys think about this. So this is uh, post-modernism. So the problem is the world is unbelievably complex and there's always a near infinite ways to perceive something. So how do you rank order perception? So how do you deal with truth? How do you know whose truth is true? and the existence of an acceptable view being accurate and authoritative, an existence of a canonical interpretation. And we critiqued that for a while. And although there is a near infinite ways to look at the world, there's not a near infinite ways of acting in the world in a manner that is actually successful. So if you're trying to alleviate your anxiety, maybe there is a manner that you could act. And how do you find that? And well, if you look at it from a theological and a psychological perspective, you could view the world not by groups, but as individuals. This is a big thing. We have group identity. We have identity politics going on. We have like culture war stuff. And if we just thought of everybody as individuals instead of these groups, so sovereign individuals. So sovereignty means possessing supreme or ultimate power. So sovereign individual responsibilities individuals responsible for their own destiny we're having this like battle going on in our politics right now and they're getting really controlly the cool thing is is humans we're really individually capable and we don't actually need big systems to like govern us like sheep um some of us kind of think that we're making ourselves into like these like decrepit creatures and yeah part of that is happening and technology gives you the opportunity to be really lazy and not really do that much and it's really up to you to get well, I think you have to use religions or you need like some myth like something worth fighting for like working for you need some story something beyond just like secular worldness to like keep you going and a lot of people have that, you know? Like we kind of, the whole religion thing, and we just went full objective science. And I think we're seeing the repercussions of that and we're swinging back to realize that the spiritualness and the religiousness are actually important. We also got our minds blown by all the different religions that are actually all also true. So there's not just one true religion, they're all true. Just like science is true. They're all different forms of true. So you have to really, make sense of all the religions and how they actually affect your psychological temperament. 
And, well, if you use evolutionary biology as your, like, science, as kind of the framework, and history as, like, the framework, then you can use, like, your own inner meditations and spirituality to, like, get creative and then have that basis of objective knowledge to kind of... The, the, the history is, like, the, the backbone, the framework. And then your creativity, your creativity-ness was coming from, like, Brahman and, like, in your heart, like, love and creativity. That's what makes uh, evolution. It drives evolution, makes cosmos go up. If you look at Charles Darwin, he wrote... Um, the species of being he, Darwinism, the natural selection survival of the fittest Darwin, that Darwin, that Darwin, he actually talks about love and cooperation way more than natural selection and survival of the fittest. So it's more love and cooperation that makes things go good. It's like organic life forms. It's like we're organisms, like you grow like life, like trees. And all the other religions have some form of the same, same idea. Who puts a bike up this high? This is insane. These mooks. We just like, ah, dang, I thought I was tall. Anyway, you guys know Nassim, Mr. Talib? 10.48, it's pretty late. Tennis was really fun. Catch you tomorrow.